this video, we'll take you through the steps to create a new test session to run an ICAS or REACH test. We'll then show you how to supervise a live test. In this video, I will be using the school coordinator role. However, creating a new test session and supervising a live test can be completed by a restricted and an unrestricted teacher too. It's important to remember that each ICAS and REACH subject has its own test supervision instructions for teachers. This document gives clear instructions on how to create a session, how to supervise the test and how to troubleshoot. To begin creating a session, select Supervise Live Test. You can access this link from the ICAS and REACH tabs. The Supervise Live Test screen displays. Select Create New Test Session. A session code will show on the screen. Display this session code for your students so they can use it to access their test. Please note, you must only create a session on the day of the test. Sessions created on any day before the test will expire. Also to note, your students must be allocated a license for their test prior to you creating a session or else their one-time code will not generate and they will have no access to the test even if you give them the session code. Think of a session code as a virtual classroom. The sessions can be chosen from this drop-down menu. A school coordinator can view all past and current active sessions by deselecting the active only option. Once your students have entered the test player, they will display with a status of Not Started. Select Start Session to give the students access to take their test. Let's take a look at supervising a live test. This is the student's name, their one-time code, the status of their test, and the test name. The progress column shows the number of questions they have completed. This column shows the time they joined the test and this one the actions that you can perform for their test. For example, you may need to unlock a test if a student has to move to a different device during the test. Here are some actions you may need to take when supervising a test. A student needs to go to the bathroom halfway through a test. Check the box next to the student's name and select Pause Student and Confirm. Their status changes to Paused. This removes the student's access to the test while they are in the bathroom. Upon the student's return, check the box again and select Resume Student and Confirm. The student can continue from where they left off. Another scenario might be that a student's internet connection drops out. If it's a brief disconnection, the student will be able to continue with their test. But if the internet connection drops out for the rest of the day and the test cannot be completed, the test will automatically go into a status called postponed. This means that on the next day that you hold a test session, when you create a new test session for students, the students' answers will be saved so they can continue from where they left off.
If a student accidentally submits a test before they have completed, it is at the school coordinator's discretion to reopen the test. However, this must be done on the test day. You cannot reopen a test the following day. To reopen a test, select the Submitted tab. Check the box next to the student's name, then select Reopen Candidate and Confirm. For more information on supervising a live test, please see the Test Supervision Instructions on pages 24 to 27 of the ICAS User Guide for Online Testing. And that's it for creating and managing test sessions. I hope you found our video helpful.